Gonna install a 240 volt welder receptacle under this electrical panel. Here's a little trick on how to get this knockout out. It makes it real easy to grab with your pliers from there. We are going to three quarter inch. Pretty safe bet knowing that there's no stud under this electrical panel. Now grab the roto zip and go to town. <laughs> Multi-tools suck. They're not near this fast. All right, now put a bushing into that hole that we knocked out of the electrical panel. You can feed your wire right in there. And then it's time to just stuff the box in the hole. Notice I didn't check the box after I cut the hole. I got 20 years experience, brah. Fit like a glove, which is more than you can say. Now get that wire length cut. Keep in mind, it's pretty cold in this shop. And if you've ever stripped in the cold, you know things are stiff. Get your head out of the gutter. I'm talking about the wire. Now we can get this ground out of here, get it landed. I like to just keep it all the way to the edge, even though there's other grounds going on the inside. It's best in a hot panel just to go ahead and tuck that behind everything. Then you get your neutral onto the neutral bar, and then it's time to just put the breakers onto the breaker that I landed up top there. Once all the wires are landed, it's time to throw that cover back on there. Keep in mind to always label the panel unless you dislike the person. It's kind of surprising that I labeled this since it's for my brother. Now it's time to move down to the receptacle, get that sheathing stripped off and notice I did strip the neutral out. I forgot that we don't need one since this is just a 240 volt. If you've never done this before, there are two gold screws on this receptacle. It does not matter which the red or black go to on it just as long as it hits one of those gold screws. Put the cover plate back on. Make sure you get your screws horizontal, if you know what I mean, all you vertical lovers. Then go ahead and test it out. It is a little bit tough to hit those prongs because these are pretty wide prongs, but once you get it, you should be reading about 240 volts leg to leg, and then 120 volts leg to ground. And as always, be an electrician. Leave your mess.